good everyone it's steve from sneaker tech talk back with another video today for today's video i did just want to cover all of the shoes that i do have from serious player only so i did want to cover all of the models that i have been playing in for about the last calendar year so without further ado let's check them out all right so in the last calendar year or two i have acquired a ton of pairs from serious player only now the first pair that i did play in from the brand was the player one 2022 i believe now this pair right here is the coco pink colorway overall as far as performance goes this was a very comfortable shoe directly underfoot as far as the cushioning because it is kind of a modular setup you can change any of the cushioning setups from the brand in any of their shoes but as far as the cushioning goes definitely comfortable underfoot the materials were nice but just the fit to me it felt a little bit short and there was some hot spots especially here on the lateral side where you kind of were getting some pinch points on the pinky toe as far as the traction on this model right here you do kind of have this all over nub pattern and the issue with this outsole is the durability because it's overly soft in my opinion but as far as the overall performance goes on indoor courts clean or dirty i never really had any issues so this was the first and initial model that i did try from the brand of serious player only the next shoe that i did try was the player one 2023 in this black and white colorway it's more or less the exact same as the player one 2022 but in this model right here they did kind of beef up some things especially at the back of the shoe as far as the padding goes the tongue was a little bit thicker and then they kind of did away with that pinch point here on the lateral side i don't know what they did if they made the material softer but overall i never had that issue with the pinching on this side and then the outsole was actually a kind of more firm rubber compound as well it's the exact same outsole on the standard player one but overall this is very very comfortable directly underfoot and both of these models the 2023 and the coco pink original pair also have a carbon fiber midfoot shank plate at the bottom so overall these were fantastic shoes and you can actually still buy both of these models on their website at a reduced price now the next seven shoes are actually the player one plus overall this is my favorite shoe to play in still here in 2024 starting with the newest colorway right here you do have the player one plus in the joker colorway kind of mimicking the suit that the joker wore in batman and then at the back of the shoe you do have the face paint with the white and kind of charcoal hits and then this heel counter right here in red is supposed to be kind of his painted on smile so overall a very gorgeous shoe and as far as the details go definitely no shortage because on the medial side right here that 4am logo for serious player only does kind of have that blood splattered print right here on the medial side so definitely a gorgeous colorway and one of the best they have released so far Moving on from that, as you can see right here, you do have the Halloween pair that did release after Halloween. As far as the colorway goes, it's a very loud shoe on court. You have some green and purple hits with those neon laces. And then at the back of the shoe, you kind of have this skull when you do flip it upside down. Again, as far as the outsole goes on the Player One Plus, still one of the best, if not the best traction patterns out right now. Very durable with that herringbone traction pattern running throughout. Next up, you do have the Mark II colorway right here. Kind of an all over silver colorway with a kind of patent leather hit at the back of the shoe in silver. A very nice and clean shoe, more or less an all over silver colorway. Not too many details on this shoe as far as storytelling goes but just another amazing colorway and performer. Next up, you do have a orange pair in the 4AM colorway. Obviously, Serious Player only has built their brand kind of on the Mamba mentality. The 4AM logo actually is for the 4AM mentality that Kobe Bryant did have, getting up earlier than all of his competitors. And that's what this shoe stands for right here with this orange colorway throughout. It does have a gray outsole. Now, I do think some people initially thought it was blue, but it is gray. You've got this really nice blue clip here at the heel counter. Again, a very gorgeous shoe from the brand. More or less, all of their Player One Plus colorways have been an absolute hit in my books. Next up, you have the HQU colorway with this burgundy and white hit throughout on this colorway right here. Definitely a clean look. You have a white heel clip at the back, a white outsole, and then the laces are burgundy with those white checkers running throughout. Overall, a very nice colorway. And then you kind of have a pinstripe on the internal of the shoe. I definitely have got a ton of use with this model right here. And I have taken them outdoors and played about 10 to 12 hours. And the outsole on this pair really has no wear and tear at all. 
they're definitely holding up nicely for indoor and outdoor use. So the Player One Plus in the HQU colorway, again, a lot of these colorways are still available on their website. So if you are interested in any of them, definitely check them out online. Next up, we have the China colorway right here, the Fine China, I believe. It is kind of a white and blue colorway right here. As far as the pattern on the back of the shoe, you kind of have a floral pattern kind of over top of that leather material, almost like a patent leather hit. It's definitely gorgeous at the back of the shoe. You have this really clean white heel clip right here. And then everything else kind of running throughout the shoe is white with blue hits. On the medial side right here, you kind of have those fly wire strands running throughout in blue. On the lateral side, they are white. As far as the outsole goes, you kind of have a marbleized outsole with light blue and dark blue as well. So overall, definitely a clean looking shoe. And then next up, you do have the tulip colorway right here. Now this colorway right here is just kind of a multi-color upper right here with some red, some pink, yellow, and blue. Very nice as far as this upper goes with an orange synthetic leather heel counter at the back. Right here, this plastic clip right here is actually pink. They do come with a white outsole and then some blue laces with some checkered portions of orange in them. Definitely a clean colorway right here. Another colorway I do have, but it is upstairs in my bag, is the Coco Pink in the Serious Player Only Player One Plus. Those I've been playing with extensively at the gym recently and also doing all of my rehabbing workouts in them. So they are upstairs, but I, but I will give you guys a quick look as far as the on foot look of the Coco Pink colorway. One of the fan favorites, and I believe they're actually sold out on their website. So if you guys didn't grab them, you're kind of out of luck, but I am hoping that if they do restock any of these colorways, that is the one right there because it does seem to be a fan favorite. Moving your way on from that, you do have the Game 1 right here. Now, they did make the Game 1 mid that I will cover in a second, but this is a lower top version of that. A very durable outsole on this shoe right here. Fantastic for indoor or outdoor use, and even on dirty floors, whether it's indoors or outdoors, you're not going to have any issues because this traction pattern is widespread and very durable and firm as far as the compound. So, Definitely one of the better traction patterns that you can get for inside and outside. The upper is kind of a leno weave material similar to what Jordan Brand offers with a TPU stranded material running throughout. And then you have some nice suede or nubuck material wrapping around the eye stay and at the back of the shoe. Now the only issue I did have with the shoe is if you lace this up to the second last eyelet and tie them around your ankle, for whatever reason, I got a ton of ankle pressure right here at the top of the shoe. Now one way I was able to alleviate that pressure is actually going to the very last eyelet at the back of the shoe and skipping the second last altogether. And that really did away with all of the lace pressure on the ankle. The tongue is very padded. The Achilles collar is very padded as well in the game one right here in this spider colorway. So overall, I still think this is a fantastic model. And I believe the game one and game one mid does retail for 138 USD versus the serious player only player one plus retailing for 180 USD. And then coming up next, we do have the cement colorway of the game one mid. This is a fantastic option for indoors and outdoors. Very durable outsole. As far as the cushioning, you, get, you have all four of those options. You do get the standard quick drop in midsole, but you can buy the other options on their website. As far as the materials go, again, that TPU stranded kind of mesh material, some fuse portions wrapping around the toe and wrapping around the eye stay and the back of the shoe. So the materials are very durable, whether you're gonna play indoors or outdoors. A ton of padding right here at the ankle collar and at the tongue. So this just makes for a fantastic and durable shoe coming in at only 138 USD for the Game 1 Mid. Next up is the Bumblebee colorway. Definitely my favorite colorway of the Game 1 Mid in this all over yellow, black, and white with that white outsole right here. Now this shoe right here is more or less a statement shoe with that really large oversized 4AM logo on the side of the shoe. As far as the materials, again, exact same as the cement pair. You can really pair this with any of their drop-in midsoles. So definitely a comfortable shoe that offers a ton of support as well. It has a very wide and stable base, a carbon fiber shank plate, and an internal heel counter. These straps right here that the laces run through at the top of the shoe on the lateral and medial side are independent and they do run down into the footbed. So if you really crank those down, it wraps nicely around your foot. So overall, a fantastic shoe. And this colorway right here is just amazing in my opinion. And then the recently released Game 1 Mid in the logo colorway. 
Very basic, but so clean on foot in my opinion. Just a gorgeous looking shoe with the black and white hits running throughout. So again, the Game 1 Mid retails for $138. Same thing goes for the standard Game 1. The Player 1 Plus does retail for $180 US dollars. The only thing is, is with this shoe right here, you do get two drop-in midsoles. You do get the Evan Lawn Light, the Quick, and you get the Strength with the extra pods at the bottom that are kind of boost and memory foam. So you get both of these drop-in midsole options. And if you don't know, there's actually two other ones you can buy online. The support, which is the exact same thing as the strength as far as the foam compounds, but you do have that lateral plate right here for extra torsional rigidity and lateral support. And then the explosive, which is their ETPU kind of boost foam-like drop-in midsole. The most explosive and bouncy one. You have a liner that does wrap up on the top of the drop-in midsole with some nice grippies directly underfoot. So again, you have four different drop-in midsole options from serious player only for all of the different play styles out there. Now, last but not least, I did want to weigh all of these shoes so you guys can get an idea of how much they weigh. So the original player one in the cocoa pink come in at 12.35 ounces. Now this one right here does have the strength drop-in midsole. The Player One 2023 comes in at 13.85, so about 1.5 ounces heavier. The Player One Plus comes in at 14.25, so about half an ounce heavier than the 2023 model. The Game One comes in at 15.35, and then the Game One Mid comes in at 15.55 so being the heaviest model right here now you can add or take away weight with the different drop in midsole options so this one right here the quick drop in midsole is only 2.1 ounces the strength is 2.65 the support being 3.35 and then the explosive being 3.35. So again, these two ones right here will add some weight and the other ones will make the shoe just a little bit lighter. That's gonna do it for today's video on all of my serious player only shoes with the Player One, the Player One 2023, the Player One Plus models and all of the Game One models. These are fantastic shoes from an amazing brand that does take your feedback whether you're a consumer or just a player, if you do give them feedback, they do try and change things in real time. This is a fantastic option for hoop shoes indoors and definitely outdoors with the Game 1 and the Game 1 Mid. But sound off in the comments if you guys have tried this brand out and what you guys think of it. Obviously with the Player 1 and Player 1 Plus, it's definitely built on the old school Kobe models of the past. But in my opinion, these shoes actually perform even better. But like I mentioned, that's going to do it for today's video. As always, if you guys can like, comment, and subscribe, that definitely helps the channel a ton. And check out my Instagram over at Sneaker Tech Talk, as it is an extension of my YouTube channel with all my pickups, basketball footage, and nostalgia as a whole. As always, thanks for watching today's video, and until next time, peace.